Hello, I am Jank of Bird Problems, here to teach you a groove from our song, Jerk Chicken. Now what I like about this groove is that it's got sort of all the markers of what makes a cool Bird Problems section. We've got an odd time signature, we've got some weird snare placements, we've got a cool displaced kick bass pattern going on, we've got the nice leads, we've got the nice vocals, it's just a nice groove all around. I think it's pretty indicative of our sound. So we'll see how it goes. First off, we gotta count this groove. How I count this groove is two counts of four, one count of three. So I see it as a four, four groove, and then we just sort of skip a beat at the end of the third count of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, now the first thing to get down for this groove is the kick pattern. So it's pretty important to be really comfortable with that kick pattern before we start worrying about the snare placements and what our arms are doing because this kick pattern sort of needs to be dissociated in your head. We've got a nice consistent displaced pattern on a 16th note grid. So I would recommend starting with a simple exercise. Consistent 16th notes on the hands, you know, alternating right, left, and just hit the kick drum over that and start that at a slower tempo and just get comfortable with the pattern. Once you're warmed up, you're comfortable with the time signature, you're comfortable with the kick pattern, then you can start moving on uh, worrying about snare placements. If we were a normal band, we would have snare on three or something, but obviously we're not a normal band. So we've got some weird snare stuff going on. So I'll just show you the groove slowed down with the snare placements. We'll see exactly where each snare hit is. first one you have kick stack snare following the 16th on the last one you have snare kick stack one two three following the 16th the middle one is a little weird even though i showed you this kick pattern before that stays extremely consistent it doesn't really move until the end when you have to repeat i'm actually going to throw you a curveball here that does change slightly once we add other components of the groove once we're on our cymbals because there's a, a nice little crash hit on the second snare. You're just gonna hit the kick right before with the stack and then do a quick swish over to your crash and your snare at the same time. So I'll show you a little bit what that looks like with the cymbals involved. So now you can see the groove starting to come together a little more. We're on the stack. We got our cymbals going. The only few things left to really talk about are entering the groove. You have a nice right and left crash on your first two kick drums. I really like that part of the groove. I like entering with a nice, a nice two sort of almost late second left crash and then going right into a nice stack groove. Feels really cool on every repetition to hit those two punches on the crashes and it makes your arms flow nicely, it feels cool. One more thing at the at the end of the groove before it repeats, you have this little left hand stroke on the hi-hat and then uh, a little floor tom snare fill back into your first two crash hits back on the one. Also one more thing, just kidding, it wasn't one more thing before, this is actually the last thing. Ghost notes, uh, there are definitely some ghost notes in there that I did in the studio and I tracked. I changed them a little bit now when I play it and maybe add one or two, not super important to keep them 
exactly how I played them on the record, but I'll try to do something similar in my demos. So we're gonna go through everything, the whole groove all together. We'll do that at maybe 80 BPM, 95, and then 110, which is the actual speed of the song. Yeah, hope you have fun with this groove. I hope this video helped if uh, you wanted to learn a little bit about this groove, either conceptually, if you wanted to physically see me doing it. I know that helps me sometimes when I'm learning a part. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm also offering lessons now. I've been playing drums for 10 years. There's a lot of uh, stuff that I'm pretty good at that I can that I can teach you. If that's something you'd be into or something you're interested in, just uh, let me know, hit me with a DM. Happy to talk about stuff that I can potentially help you with. I'd say my, my top things are, you know, double kick stuff and, and, and metal fills and grooves. Learning stuff by ear and transcribing parts by ear. Being creative, coming up with grooves, coming up with patterns specifically. We're talking about metal though, we're coming up with like a breakdown pattern. Happy to help on those topics, any other topics you can think of. Let me know, I would love to share what I've learned, uh, if that's something you're into. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll probably do some more similar things, maybe deconstructing different verb poems parts, because some of them are super cool. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you, and uh, yeah, peace.